Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we were... just fell in the water because the bridge was unstable. So basically, you just swim towards the back of the screen. I don't know how you're really supposed to know... I mean, there's only so many ways you could go, I guess, so... I don't know if it matters which way you go. Oh shit. Oh shit! Ugh! What the hell is that?! I'm surrounded by fishies! Fishies that want to attack me! Oh dear. Yeah! Now you'll be hearing this music a lot. <laughs> I love that cinematic right there when it shows the close-up of the face. He's like, he's totally ready. So, I especially love the underwater attack animations. It's so smooth. Wham! It's just so much fun to look at. It just makes pressing the buttons fun because you know what's coming after it. Uh, what's up? Why aren't you attacking? Uh... What's going on? There's something alive in here. It's your imagination, kid. Oh, shit! <laughs> ah! Misa, no me in trouble! No. Whoa! No, 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 no. Oh. I hit my monitor by accident. Or, well, I hit my monitor because I thought I was doing the other thing. No, it was the screen team. I'm okay, though. We're good. There's always a bigger fish. Hubba 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 hubba, don't mute your mic now. Seriously, that mute button is so much of a pain in the ass. Okay, so, um... You can try to fight this guy if you want, but it's really no good. I mean, you're not gonna beat him. He's pretty much impossible to beat at this point. So... Yeah, so he can tear you up. Well, he just basically cuts your HP in half. Once again, the telling indicator is the fact that you still have as much HP as you lost. And obviously it rounds down, because I have 83 and he took 82. Just keep hitting him, and eventually you'll activate the next cutscene. No big deal. Ugh. Ugh. How can a fish burp? That's no fair. <laughs> he bumped into a wall. It's funny when fish bump into walls, when they get stuck in chains. Like on the sword and the stone. You've got to use your brain! Use your brain! Oh, okay. Uh... Yes! Door! Door! Go to the door! Go to the door! Go to the door! Swim! Ooh, ooh. Crap, I don't want to get swallowed by this thing! Ooh. This is great! Oh, God, I love this! <laughs> You're so close to getting swallowed! Look at you, were inside of his mouth right now! And you just barely make it out of that shit. Oh, my God. You get more fancy narration here, I do believe. I mean, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and defend Titus to the end of the world, but... I think that his narration is actually pretty good. It's very... just... it's like... it's the same way I would react. Frying pan ...and into the freezer. Famous line there. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die in this place. Yeah. It's easy to listen to a line like that, I thought I was going to die in this place. But have you ever actually honestly thought you were gonna die somewhere? Have you ever felt that? I know what that feels like. Because... Wait, am I supposed to go that way? Yeah. Isn't that where the doors just got shut off? Maybe not. No, there's another door up here. And he died! Oh no, sorry. Oh my god. Lightning striking on a statue is like a Batman movie or something. <laughs> Ugh, push those rocks out of the way, Titus. It must have been a horizontal boulder. Okay, what now? It's pretty waterfall. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Being cold, no fun. Fire. <sighs> fire, fire. <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> well, you can see on your map, well, the map pretty much tips you off what you need to do. So you got a save point there, and an entrance here. Which you can push open. Basically, just watch for the green spots on the map, and you can see where you can... Uh, obtain Flint? Hey, is Hanawa in here? Cool. We could use some sex appeal. We ain't seen no hot girls yet. We've seen those freaky-looking ones. So then you can come over here. I believe... Isn't this where you just came in, though? Yeah. Jeez. Well, I'm a dumbass. Thank goodness the loading times aren't too bad on this now. See, Final Fantasy IX, they're a lot worse. And 
getting over here, we'll just head up in this door here. You basically need two things to start a fire. You need flint, and you need Hinawa. So, we'll just look on the wall over here. There should be a... Should come up a little X. Yeah, here we go. Hey, a plant! Hey, maybe we can smoke it. Alright, we got the flint. All we need is the fire. Just light up, baby! No, I do not promote drug use by any means of any kind. You know, I've heard that actually California is trying to legalize marijuana. I don't know how far they're going to get, but according to a survey I heard on the radio, that like, <laughs> like 81% of people had smoked marijuana like in their lives or something, or that they approved of it or something. It was an astonishing number, and like maybe they just made it up. Yeah. I think the lightning did a better job of making your fire than you did there, Tita. And why do I not find that hard to believe? very strange outfit. I don't know who designed that, but I mean, I, just, I guess you have to give it props for being original. I mean, have you ever seen anybody in your life wearing anything that ridiculous? With the crisscross freaking freaking fishnet pants. It's like a loose fishnet. I need food. Okay, there's the first line that might start to piss people off. Like, I need food! Damn it, I'm hungry! Well, why don't you go make yourself a sandwich, bitch? Okay, what? What do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. <sighs> okay, see, I, I don't I don't get that. He says it was a bad call, so it was the umpire's fault. Now all of a sudden, the team lost because of me? So which is it? It's been ten years. Huh. I thought you'd be crying. What? Me? You cried. <sighs> what? Okay, see, I don't get that. He says you cried as if it was past tense. So if he's reliving the memory, why would he say you cried as if it was in past tense? Well, he could be reliving the memory, but then why would he be acting like he was in it at the moment? Ugh, I don't know. This is so weird. Ugh. Yeah, now I'm cold and hungry. Hey, wait, wait. Uh, don't go out on me. What, you, would you rather go down on you? Just hold on. I'll get more wood. He's talking to a fire. Oh shit. What the hell? Hey, this'll warm you up. How about a battle? Yeah, a battle! I love this shot. It's just so memorable. Like, this is one of the things I remember the most. Just seeing them running around the circle like that. It's just freaky. It's freaky is what it is. Now we're getting in another fight. Uh, we just can't get a break around here. Oh shit. Better use a potion. Don't bother with your high potion because that heals 1,000 HP and you definitely don't need that at this point. This is another thing I love. Throughout this battle, it's going to start showing like several different camera angles. And it's just cool. There's something cool about it. I don't know. It just makes it feel more cinematic, you know? See? From sh shot from behind the columns. Like someone's watching or something. It's just cool. And of course you're watching, but you're also controlling it, but it's just cool. I don't know. Can't explain it. Jeez, being attacked by monsters, being in a strange place, getting taken all over the world, like I don't know what's going- And now what?! Now somebody's been blowing the door open! What is this?! Can this get any stupider?! Who are these guys?! What?! They have guns in this game?! Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I, I, I was asking for sex appeal. I think I got a little more than I bargained for here. Oh my god. Shit, what, so I'm gonna get beat up by this- Oh. Okay. You on my side? Cool. cool! Yeah, dude! Totally awesome! <laughs> Eclectic! Eclectic? Jeez! Okay, so her special command is, uh, use. And she has two grenades in her inventory, so... Use them. Look at that damage. Doesn't tell you just yet who this girl is. And obviously not, because, well, why would it? You gotta save some mysterious... You gotta have something mysterious happen here. Because it's not quite mysterious enough. Now that she's out of grenades, she can actually steal another one. And use it again. So we'll do that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I can actually enter these commands faster than this, but because of the lag, I'm not sure what I'm... 
just yet what I'm doing. Stole another grenade! Alright. We could do this all day. Okay, never mind, he's dead. And there's your famous Final Fantasy music right there. Hey, I gained a level. Now, actually, in, in this game, you don't actually gain levels. You gain sphere levels, which I'll explain more on that later, because it's kind of... it's a little weird. But I actually like it a lot. Uh. I mean, the sphere grid is actually one of my favorite parts of this game. And from what I understand, they have it in Final Fantasy XIII, too, but I don't know for sure. Okay. So it's Britney Spears. Alright. That was close. That was close. Don't hurt me now! Wait, what? I thought you were here to help me! Who's this guy? Let me go! Dude, it's a bald... What the hell? Where did big? There's a fiend. Oh. But look at my beautiful blue eyes. Don't you feel sorry for me? Wait. I think she says wait. There. What if he? What? I I don't know what they're saying at all. <laughs> yeah. I know she says sorry there. Basically, all the vowels replace vowels in the Albed language, so if you see a vowel, it is a vowel. It's just the wrong vowel, that's all. I remember when I first played this game the first time, I actually took the first uh, thing, the Albed thing, and I actually deciphered it, because you can actually do that if, you, if you're smart, I guess. I don't mean to say like you're dumb or something, but they make puzzles like that there, where they substitute one letter for another, and you can actually figure out the puzzle if you can figure out just one or two words, figure out what one or two of the letters are, and just work from there. And I actually solved the first Albed puzzle by doing that. But I had to sit there with a piece of paper and work on it, you know, for like 15 minutes just to get one sentence. So obviously reading it on a screen, you're not going to be able to tell right off the bat. And even if you had the language memorized, it would still be pretty difficult to decipher it. <laughs> it's very strange. Oh, now who is this guy? Well, she's back. Uh, yeah. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, they make pills for this. You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. What? 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 Dude! All this time? The whole time? The whole time! I'll work. Yeah, I'll work. But I need food! Okay, so I could, like, sit here right now if I wanted to and figure that out. Like, write it down, but I'm not going to. Just talk to the girl. Well, you might be able to, get, like, get some stuff. You. So, I don't know. I know we is you. If you're... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. I got three potions. Okay, cool. Almost forgot. What? What's up? Can someone tell me what's going on here? Okay, using the sphere grid. I'm not going to go through the... I'll explain this to you myself, because this takes way too long. In fact, I might skip this. Like, because you can't skip this in the game. Well, I'll explain it to you now, I guess. Basically, the sphere grid is a series of circles connected that go along a path, as you can see here. And you can only go along the path one way or the other. So... Uh, and you can move along the path one space for every level you gain. And then, you can activate any sphere that's next to you or the one that you're on top of at the time to actually get the upgrade from that sphere. So you move one step, like, like I said, because you gain one level, you can move one step. And then you can learn the ability that's next to that sphere, which is cheer. So You'll also have to gain spheres in battle to actually activate these. You won't just get them for free. So if you, you know, you have different spheres for different things that you activate, like a like an ability sphere to activate the... I know, I know, I know, I know. So oh, it's just so long and tedious, really. It's tedious on tedious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is hypothetical. This is not my sphere grid. This is all automatic happening here. But that's pretty much how it works. So, uh, like I said, I'll explain it better when I actually do it myself, so I can talk about what's going on as it's happening instead of trying to follow all this crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't ever look at those menus. That's not. You don't have to worry about that. I want an R1 to get different views and to see who else is on the... Yeah, because there's, like, many different characters that start at different points on the sphere grid, and along their paths, like, their pre-designated paths will take them to the abilities that the char that the game actually wants them to learn. For example, you get a black mage, they'll start on a path of the sphere grid that has, like, Fyra and Faraga and Thundaga and all that stuff on it. So anyway, well, uh, i got to stop here because I'm out of time, so I will see you next time. I'll play Final Fantasy X. See you later, guys. Bye.